welcome again today's topic is statement flow control this is also the part of python revision for class 12 of chapter 1 the first topic is types of statements each and every program in python language is made up of statements instructions or commands these statements is an instruction which is executed to get result these statements when executed give gives results gives output or do something okay there are three types of statements in python all the statements are categorized in the three categories they are first is compound statement second one is simple statement and third one is empty statement compound statement a compound statement represents a group of statements executed as a unit it has a header statement followed by a column at end and a set of statements following the header statement called block are indented to the right see a compound statement it is a group of statement first of all a group of statement a set of statement is known as compound statement and it is executed as a unit it, it means it is executed in uh, uh, one one set a time okay one by one it is executed one by one but uh, at a time okay all the statements in that group are compound statement executed at a time see it has a header statement which must be followed by colon at end okay there should be a colon at the end of header statement and group statement must be a header statement means uh, a group of statement before a group of statement there is one statement which is known as header statement and that header statement must be end with a colon Okay. Now, uh, this group of statement is also called block, and it must be indented to the right, to the right, for whom, uh, by whom, the header statement. Okay, by for um, it must be indented in uh, comparison with the header statement it must be indented to the right at least four statements see the example here this is the example okay this part is the example of this compound statement here it is header if any n2 is greater than n1 okay then colon is there here see colon is there this is the header statement and now there are two compound statement there are two statements in the compound statement and both are indented c space four spaces at least will be there four statements and these two two statements are executed when uh, this header statement becomes true because it is if statement okay conditional statement we will learn later hmm. now when these statements are executed it will come to the next statement and this print statement is unindented unindented means it is out of the block statement it is single a simple statement okay understood now come to next other types other statements are other types of statements are simple statement simple statement is nothing but it is a single executable statement uh, each and every statement is simple statement in python Okay, see these are the statements the first statement second statement third statement these are the sub simple statement the last one seventh number statement print statement also a simple statement it executes and gives some results now empty state third one is type of statement empty statement empty statement means mm, uh, is it does nothing okay this empty statement does nothing and what it uh, and moves to the next statement just it is ignored and does nothing okay just like comment comment we put but comment says something about the program about the program and it is helpful and it is readable okay but in the in pass statement uh, it is a statement comment is considered as um, 
ignorable statement okay but this past statement is executable statement it executes okay see it is but it does nothing hmm. and moves to the next statement uh, passes it is past statement okay it is used where it is used it is used where the syntax of the program needs a statement but the logic does not sometimes some rules of program be, uh, while writing program you will uh, come to a situation that uh, the, the rule of the program needs some statement there and the logic of the program does not need any statement any execution any command any output does not need at that time we can give this pass statement to fulfill the both things okay the syntax and the logic now come to next types of control statement normally statements execute sequentially one by one from top to bottom in a sequence okay however sometimes we need to alter this normal flow of execution this is the normal flow one by one top to bottom it executes the statements but sometimes we need to alter this normal flow of execution by conditionally executing a set of statements and skipping other set of statements or repeating a set of statements in a loop okay sometimes we need to execute a set of, set of statements and don't want to execute other set of statements depending on some condition or we want to repeat a set of statements okay in a loop repeat okay mm, uh, more and more time more and more time we want to repeat a statements in a loop Okay, for that purpose control statement is used okay there are three types of control statement there is if conditionals looping statements and job statement we will learn these things okay now see the if conditionals these statements are used to alter the normal sequential flow of statement depending on some condition okay as we know that control statement is used to alter the normal flow or sequential flow of the statements depending on some condition this if statement suits better as control statements see it comes in four forms four flavors now uh, plain if statement just simple statement if else conditional statements two part and if l if conditional statements more parts are there and then nested if statements now discuss one by one see the plain if conditional statement in if statement a state a condition is given if the condition becomes true a set of statements is executed a set of statement means there should there may be one statement or more statements okay these all statements must be uh, in as a compound statement and it it must be executed it must be indented okay and it must have an header statements um, which ends with colon this should be uh, these are the rules of the python language which it should be followed see the syntax of if statement is if condition then colon and then statements here we have put angle bracket angle bracket means we we don't have to write this uh, word condition we have to some condition make some condition using relational operator logical operator variables and values we have to use okay this uh, angle bracket value is replaced with some condition okay now see the example mm, here example program grade equals to input inter grade then if grade equals to equals to a okay see if grade equals to equals to a you know here we have input grade and here we have put statement condition what condition is there grade equals to equals to a means if grade is a then it will print this statement what is statement congratulation you did well okay now see output here uh, uh, the program is run and it, it asks inter grade and we have input the value a now it fulfills the condition that it sh the grade should be a then it will display congratulations you did well if you want to understand it more then you can understand it like here see the fl flow chart also okay here uh, first we enter into the conditional statement if statement then it first it will check the condition if it becomes true then its statements are executed and comes out of 
the basis statement or uh, otherwise if the condition becomes false it does nothing and just comes out of the conditional if statement if there should be more statement here then it will execute the statements and continue executing the program or it will end the program okay now come to next state next type of if statement that is if else conditional statement it is same as plain if statement because it is same because it executes a set of statements when the condition becomes true okay if the condition becomes true then it executes a set of statements there is another feature with the feature to execute another set of statements when the condition becomes false there is another feature also that we can add some statements uh, so that if the condition become false it will execute other set of statements okay see the syntax is here if condition then colon then some statements then else then colon and then some statements see how we have put it should be indented here okay and it should be indented here and it should come else should be the back indented okay it will it will be in the level of if statement see it should be in the level of if statement else statement then it will work okay understood now um, see the example example program this is the example program you can see here now see um, here a equals to int input enter a value then condition if is given if a is greater than zero then it will print the value of a is zero or positive number else it will print is a is negative number because if condition is false if, uh, the condition becomes false in one only one condition if it is less than zero okay then it will come to the else part and it will display the result like this see here we have uh, run this uh, program only once and here it asks for a value of a we have put one then it says that it one is zero for positive number further you want to understand it uh, in better way then see here uh, before in uh, when when once uh, it entered into the if statement it's first check the condition same as the if condition plain if condition and if if it becomes true it executes a statement a set of statements and come to out of the if statement and if the condition becomes false it executes another set of statements okay and then after executing it comes out of if statement this is the situation now come to next statement mm, next type of conditional statement that is the if l if conditional statement suppose sometimes we need mm, we need to execute to execute a, another condition another condition when the program or when the conditional if statement reaches to else part of the statement hmm. else part of the statement okay hmm. then that situation this if l if statement is needed it comes again in two flavor if l if and if l if else part else part is optional here condition tax is given here if condition one here we can give more than one condition if condition one's true it become it execute the statements if condition true two then it will execute another set of statements okay now we can give more than more elif 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 condition three elif condition four elif condition five like this we can give and at the last we can put or we can we can uh, uh, we cannot put uh, there is do no both options are there uh, we can give else statement or not uh, else, else statement here uh, if we give else statement then what will happen uh, when once the all condition become false then only this else statement will be executed okay here see the flow chart of the statement that is when uh, it is entered into the if elif conditional statement it first check the condition one okay condition one if it is true it executes the statements and comes out of the if elif statement okay. uh, uh, only if the condition be one becomes false then it will check condition two and do the same trick to 
the same execution that if it becomes true then it will execute another set of statements and come out of if elif statement only when condition 2 becomes false it will check the condition 3 4 5 like this and if all the condition become false then it will go to else part this is the else part okay else part and it executes the statements okay in the else part statements and comes out of the if elif statement now see the example here we have uh, written a program okay which displays numerical digits in words numerical digits in words okay here we have in put one number only enter a single digit number in n variable n here we have checked n equals to zero then it will display zero L if uh, if it is not zero single digit number we are asking there are total 10 single digit numbers 0 to 9 okay now 10 times we have to put condition for that purpose L if is better um, to fulfill this condition L if L, uh, each time we want to give condition we have to write L if and it should be uh, uh, indented with if statement the header statement now and all other statement must be indented uh, indented in a, as a compound statement okay now here el if each time the condition is given n equals to 1 l if n is 2 n if n is 3 l if n now ex what execution will done uh, suppose uh, first of all it will ask a digit single digit number suppose we are we have given output uh, of the program uh, the program is run once here uh, it is asking until single digit number we have put five then how execution is done here first it will check the condition this condition n equals to zero now it becomes false it comes to check the existing n equals to one no it is no comes to next system n equals to two no n equals to three no n equals to four no n equals to five yes then this five is displayed here see the output five is displayed and then it will not check any other condition and comes out of the program okay because there is no statement after else there is no other statement so it will comes out of the program this is the execution now come to nested if statement nested if statement is suitable where we want to give some another if statement inside one if statement is inside in ifs body or elifs body or else body this is known as nested if statement here we have given some example uh, we are finding here five uh, largest number among three numbers okay three numbers we have taken x y z and first we have checked two numbers x is greater than y if it is true then x is the greater y then we have check again that x is greater than z also then if it is true then it will display x is the largest otherwise z is the largest and if first condition is false then it again check y is greater than z yes it is true then it will be the largest and z is the largest these are the making of condition now put see here we have put three statement three numbers five seven and nine and what happened it displays the nine is the largest number okay now come to no looping statements looping statements are used to repeat a set of statements either given number of times or the given condition is true these statements are also called iterative statements looping statements are used to repeat a set of statements repeat means uh, more than one time it may be two times three times four times okay number of times we can give or we can give a condition okay uh, uh, up to if the condition is true this uh, statements will be repeated and once the condition become false repetition is stops okay it is also all known as iterative statement there are two types of loops in uh, python language the for loop and the while loop okay the for loop this kind of loop is designed to represent counting loop and to process the items of any sequence type such as a list a string one by one in a sequence we know already what are the sequence type in python language 
there are list, string, tuple, dictionary, sets. These are the sequence types available in Python language. Okay, to display the values one by one, this for loop is very fruitful, very useful because it is designed to represent counting loops and to process the items of any sequence type. Okay, the syntax is here for variable in sequence then colon and statements to repeat or we can give for variable in range range function statements to repeat okay example is given here for a for a in here we have given list of five numbers 0 1 2 3 4 okay and for loop you we have used this is a variable and this is the list it is a sequence type and we have given print a okay print a statement and separated by space each value will be separated by space and equals to space we have given it means each value will be separated by space okay now see the output here it will display 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Whatever we have put here in the square brackets as a list, these values one by one will be displayed on the output. Okay. Same can be obtained using range function. Okay, for A in range 5, total 5 number of values here. We have given 5 range and same print statement A in equals to space. Then when we run this statement, it will give the same output again to know more about range function see the next page okay the range function what it will do see here this function produces an integer number sequence it produces an integer number sequence generally of list type okay there are three ways to define a range first we can put single value that is a stop value okay whenever we put some value here 5 4 3 2 1 8 9 6 any value we can put a stop value then it will display or it will generate elements from 0 to stop minus 1 means one less okay so in the previous uh, program we have given range 5 then what happened it displays from 0 to 4 one less okay so here one less and increment by one again next item next type of we can uh, next way to define a range function we can give a start also and a stop also then it will generate elements from a start to a stop minus one less one less okay and increment by one okay next third type third way to define a generate statement is here start then stop then step we can give a step also then it um, it will generate elements from start to the stop minus one and increment by step okay see the more examples so that it may clear you more we have given here for a in a range seven okay and printing displaying this number then here see it will it starts from 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 6 less than 1 means we have given 7 it displays up to 6 again next is 5 to 12 we have given a start and then a stop 5 it starts with 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 up to 11 one less okay so now again we have third way of range function we have used we have given a start, a stop, then a step. Then it will display 5, then 7, then 9, then 11 in a step of 2. Okay. Up to 11. Less. One less. It will, it won't display 13 because 13 is the stop value and it will display up to 12. But 12 did not come in the step of 2. So up to 11 it will, it is displayed. Now 10, 14 we have given here. 
10 in 10 to 4 sorry 10 to 4 then uh, it is uh, uh, it does no value it displays no value because we have given a start value 10 and a stop value 4 it won't come in increment by 1 by 1 it won't come to up to 4 so no value is displayed okay now see another range function we have given some different type of step value here 10 to 4 we have given and step minus 1 now it will display some value result starting from 10 10 it will display 10 9 8 7 5 and 7 6 and 5 in the step of minus 1 means in decrement order now mm, decrement order but see here up to it display up to 5 less than 4 okay. means 1 less to 4 okay now understood how it works now come to next looping statement that is the while looping statement this loop is different from for loop because mm, it uh, needs condition and which must be true to execute a set of statements repeatedly the while loop repeat a set of statements within its body as long as the given condition is true it is an entry control loop Integer control loop means once uh, we entered into this loops first uh, it first checks the condition if the condition becomes true it executes the statement okay and then again uh, repeat the statement this is known as that's why it is known as loop okay it again repeats the statement once it becomes false it exits from the loop okay and until it becomes false it will exit it will repeat the statements as long as the result is true of the condition now see mm, the syntax is simple while then we have to give condition then colon and then loop body okay here we have given one example see okay here a equals to 1 we have given while a is less than equals to 5 the condition we have given less than equals to 5 and then we have print a hmm, separated by space and we have increment a by 1 1 by 1 okay hmm, see the output it displays the output 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 okay how because a first it uh, first the value of a is 1 it will display one and increased increase a by one then come to repeating repeat it will repeat the statement now uh, next time a will become two and it checks again a is less than equals to five yes it is true it is less than five two is less than five then it will display two second value and likewise it displays two three four and when it becomes five it checks again here a is less than equals to five no uh, here it is not less than five but it is equals to five because two statement two condition is given here less than and equals to so it is equal again it will be repeated it will there is the statement executes and the five value five is displayed and it will increase the value five by one then it will become six and then again it checks the condition a is less than equals to five now it this time the condition becomes false and it stops the program and the output comes up to 5 jump statements break and continue these statements are used with loop statement to jump out of loop iteration when needed these jump, uh, jump statements sometimes needed in loop statement to comes out of the loop comes out of the iteration of the loop okay python has two jump statements break and continue the break statement a break statement skips all the rest of the loop statements and jumps over to the statement following the loop what it does it skips all the rest of the loop statement Okay, the remaining is where, where, wherever the break statement is given the remaining statements after the break statement will be skipped will be left over will be will not be executed okay and jumped out of the loop 
jumped over to the statement following the loop. After the loop, the statement, if any statement is given, it comes out of the loop and that, the, that statement will be executed. Actually, it terminates the loop where it lies within and execution resumes immediately after the loop. What it does, actually it does, it terminates the loop. Means execution of the loop is stopped here. Okay. And um, uh, execution resume, but the program will not be stopped. If some statement is there, it, ex it execution resumes immediately after the loop. If some statement is there after the loop, then execution is uh, will be continued from that statement. Okay. It only stops the loop. Loop. Okay. See, working of a break statement. While uh, con uh, while condition is here, test condition is given here. Statement one is given here. If condition is given here, and then break statement is there. Suppose whenever this if condition is fulfilled, break statement will run, and then it will skip these two statements. Okay, and comes out of the loop. loop. Okay, mm, uh, up to uh, three. The statement three, in the loop is there because in uh, the, these statements are indented these are statements are the block statement so uh, the while will execute or repeat statements up to statement number three the fourth statement is out of the loop okay now break statement what it does it comes out of the loop mm, uh, and what is is execute statement two three uh, uh, and it starts or resumes the execution from statement number four same here for in for loop same here take a statement uh, did same task as it does in while statement it comes out of the loop wherever the take a statement is executed and it resumes execution after the loop statement continue statement is different okay so, in some way it is similar but it is different okay that the continuous statement forces the next iteration of the loop to take place skipping any code in between it skips some code same as the break statement but it continue the execution from the next iteration of the loop see the working of statements okay same um, while statement and same for statement but in place of break we have put continuous statement what it does it executes the statements whenever this continuous statement is executed it won't come out of the statement while loop it won't come out of the while loop instead it goes again to execute the statement only these two statements are ex skipped okay only these two statements means a statement two and three it won't be executed and continue the loop here same here statement one will be executed and if condition this condition is fulfilled continue statement will be executed and these statement will be executed uh, skipped not executed and then comes to the loop again okay in above loops continue will cause a skipping of a statement two and three in the current iteration and next iteration will start start see here only in the current iteration it won't be executed statement number two and three and in next iteration if suppose the condition of the if statement is false then only these two statement will be executed okay see the examples so many examples are there to understand to better understand this statement first example here see uh, we have given while statement using break statement okay a equals to 0 a is less than 5 then we have increment a by value of a a we have checked that a, if a equals to 3 then break okay first time it won't break because uh, the value of a is 0 and it increment it by 1 then b it will become 1 and then print statement will be executed so output is 1 and then again it goes uh, executes the statement and then a the value of a will become 2 and then 2 is also displayed and next time when it goes and the value of uh, become 2 to 3 then it will break means the stop the loop then only output is 1 and 2 here Okay, see 
in the same year uh, in for loop what happened we have given range 5 okay so, uh, as we know that range starts from 0 so it um, it will check the value of a is 3 no it is 0 so 0 is displayed then 1 is displayed then 2 is displayed then when the value be, uh, becomes 3 it will check if the condition is fulfilled and break statement is executed it will come out of the loop so only 0 1 and 2 statements is given now come to while statement with uh, continue statement same uh, program is given here now only uh, in place of registration we have put continuous statement what it does it display all the values it displays all this value except the value 3 because here we have put equals to equals to 3 the condition is given here to check the value of 3 when the value of uh, a will become 3 it will continue the loop Okay, it will go to the next iteration of the loop and it skips the print statement. So here in output you won't see the three output. Okay, same here. Mm, uh, same here. It starts from zero, uh, but when a becomes three, it will continue the next iteration of the loop and won't print the value three. Okay. More on loops. In, uh, here we will learn loop statement with else clause and nested loop statements. Loop statement with else clause. In Python, loops have an option optional else clause where we can give statements to be executed when the loop ends. It means here that uh, we can put um, else clause in a loop statement and they, this else clause statements will be executed when the loop ends but there is a catch what is that catch the else clause of a python loop executes when the loop terminates terminates normally okay terminates normally not when the loop terminating because of break statement okay if loop terminates using the break statement then else part won't be executed only the else part is executed when the loop terminates normally in each and every steps of the loop statement is executed then only the else part statement is executed understood see the example here Here for a in range 1 to 4 we have given here a percent 8 equals to equals to 0 then break then print a else print thank you we have given a percent 8 it will give a remainder value here the value of a comes from 1 to 1 to 3 1 to 3 okay then uh, if we divide 1 with 8 it won't give 0 2 it won't give 0 3 it won't give 0 okay so the break statement won't be executed anytime each time print statement will be executed and normally this uh, program or this for function for loop is uh, ends then the else statement will be executed same here in a while loop we have given same here okay same um, thing is there then the output will be like this it will display 1 2 3 thank you break statement is present here but the else part is displayed why because this break statement won't be executed anytime because of the condition is given like that it won't be fulfilled anytime understood that's why the output is given even from the else part now nested loop a loop may contain another loop in its body this form of loop is called nested loop nested loop what is nested loop uh, within a for loop we can put another for loop or within a loop while loop we can put another while loop this is known as nested loop it is helpful when we need some different type of um, values to be generated 
or different types of pattern to be generated then this type of nested loop is required here we have uh, the, uh, this uh, displayed a dis different type of pattern see this program uh, will generate a pattern of stars like this first time it displays one star second time it displays two star third time three star four time fourth star because of the nested loop statement arranged in such a manner here 1 to 5 6 is given here and 1 to i is given here whatever the value of i the first loop is given then at uh, that that time it will be executed the second loop and so the output is like this okay see here uh, one more thing we have to know about this uh, for loop that in nested loop if a break statement is inside inner loop okay this is the inner loop okay and this is the outer loop this is outer outer loop and this is inner loop okay inner loop uh, a break statement is inside inner loop suppose we have put break statement in inside the inner loop then only the inner loop will terminate and the outer loop will continue outer loop will be continue inner loop will only be terminated however if we um, put a break statement in outer loop the entire loop will be terminated so be cautious while using break statement in nested loop now we are giving you some assignments from book uh, do the following from computer science python book for class 12 from page number 30 to 36 okay there are four types of question multiple choice questions fill in the blanks true false and answer question solve answer question is given here okay you have to do all these things and you have to learn the solve answer questions thank you